Hello, handsome. How the devil are we? My name's Theo. Welcome back to the channel that I run, apparently. Been a minute, innit? Sorry about that. Been a very frustrating couple of weeks. I've had all kinds of things going wrong. I've had microphones dying. So I've just thrown out quite a lot of my gear. I'm trying a whole new setup. So I thought we'd do one of these just to try and break it in. So just FYI, I'm not just sat here on my ass. I am trying to do stuff, but it's, it hasn't been working out. Oh, the audience. My big, nebulous, many-headed boss. So, good God. Welcome back to Down It Open. We're just going to do some mail that's been sitting around for a while. Uh, and we're going to do some shout outs to some people who've helped me out recently, if that's alright. Uh, first of all, thanks to Piorg, of all people, for sorting me out with a uh, RVO Swerve. This is a figure that I've been craving for many, many years, but I just thought it was time to, like, actually try and get one. So good old Piorg was generous enough to pass me his one. I don't know why I've craved this thing so much. It's just, it's so normal. He's so unremarkable, yet so difficult to attain. But thank you, sir. He is great, and he's made me very happy by being as average as possible. Let's give a shout out to Sam at Hardcore Gamer for hooking me up with the last few components I needed to spruce up my old G1 Sideswipe. This is a figure I've had since I was a kid, but I foolishly pulled off the doors. I've no idea why I did that. Why would I do that? But it did happen. So good old Sam was nice enough to throw me a junker and I just pulled those bits off and now he's finished. Similarly, I was feeling the need for some unfamiliar G1 action around sort of TF Nation time. So uh, I went ahead and treated myself to a nice G1 Sunstreaker. This was like a big gap in my collection because it's such an important figure, like in the history of G1 and Diaclone and all that. So I went ahead and grabbed one off eBay that was listed as 100% complete, but it was not. And I was thoroughly enraged when it arrived without a spoiler. Poor show. So it was extremely kind of a good old go-go Andy Robo to source me one from America and throw it over. So cheers, Andy. You didn't need to do that, but I'm delighted that you did. Mail call! All right, we're just doing letters. The whole parcel thing is still very much a no-go. Anyway, we have a very nice looking and extremely tidy letter that's come from uh, the France Lund. Oh, look at that. I actually just rewatched all my Damn It Open so I could like keep a catalogue of who gave me which robot so I don't have to keep going back through and checking because it's happened a couple of times. I've shouted out the wrong person on reviews. I should have started doing that like from the top, but I didn't. I've only just... What a clown. <laughs> I pretend I'm organized, but I'm clearly not. Any whomst? Whoa. Oh my gosh, that looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> this old fan art. I do recall seeing this. It's Robo Me with light piping. And he was mad and angry. God, it's got the old sort of 2009 beard with the shaved bits. Hi, Thew. I did this six years ago. Lost it. Found it back. Said I'd send it to you. Lost it again. Have it in hand again. In the meantime, you changed facial hair configuration twice. It's not accurate anymore. It's fine. It's still good. How am I going to be mad? It's me who keeps changing. Keep up the good work. Laurent. Oh, God. I'm going to get this wrong. Laurent Liebesart. This fellow is a legend. This is genuine. He signed it 2014. Might bring that back for giggles. I've got the hair coming back. Might do the old boop boop. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Thank you, uh, Laurent. That is my jam. I have a large-ish A4 envelope from a chap called Paul in Chicago, Illinois. Hi, Thew. My friend Jesse told me about your channel. It's cool. He takes photo comics with his toys. Oh, Robots with Coffee. Yeah. I know the name. This is a coloring book I made. A toy catalog for a line of robot toys that hopefully isn't going out of business soon. Spoiler, probably. Please enjoy. Oh, no. So, Robots with Coffee, is this, like, actually a toy line? <laughs> My gosh, he's singing the trans Anthem. The Dopey Robots Coloring Book and Toy Catalogue. Ah, oh, mate, look at this little planet kind of playing on the miniature planet thing. It's always daft to me that you can see entire buildings on Cybertron from space. Because, like, yes, they're big, but how big are they? that you can see individual buildings from space. They're not that big. So they're just having fun with it. I love that. Oh, fandom banter. We got boat shoes. That's got to be uh, based on the old depth charge joke, right? Kind of an early UK Marvel loose stringer sort of vibe to this. Making up the daftest characters possible and writing whole sort of screeds about them. Some nightmare fuel nap time. He's very keen for you to get in bed. Oh my gosh, Cuddletron. Wasn't there a, a bot bot called Cuddletron? The, uh, the chainsaw one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, cheers, man. This is great fun. I'll give you a follow on the old social medias. Oh boy, music suggestions. Pelican. Yes, mate. Big fan of Pelican. I saw them live with Cave-In in like 2005. Just listen to every Pelican album. The Fire in Our Throats. Hell yeah. City of Size, I've got, I think. And the first one with Mammoth on it. Hell yeah. Lost Goat. Only Living Witness. Man or Astro Man. All right. All right. I could use some new tunes. I've been doing this awful thing with music. Well, I'll get like two or three albums in, like from the latest stuff. Listen to them once and then just go back to listening to Devon Townsend. <laughs> you know, you just go back to the same sort of 15 albums you've always loved. So, all right, I listened to some Man or Astro Man. 
See what Pelican have been up to. That's a nice one, robots with coffee. Those are two of my favorite things. All right, similar sized thing. This is from Brandon. Dear Futimus Prime, I write this letter to tell you I admire and love your content. Oh, thank you. Been a bit sparse lately, innit? Sorry about that. One of the things I notice in rewatching Damn It Open is I'm always promising that I'm going to do more. Then I do some and it never feels like enough. I think that's just how it's gonna be. I have taken many inspirations from your channel and I hope you go far in the Transformers community. I think I'm doing all right. Am, am I? I mean, you, you're, you are the community. What do I know? This is my letter of saying thank you for your contributions to the community. Feel free to check out the following channels and give them a personal shout out on your channel. All right, I'll, I'll check some of these out in my own time. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna sit here and read them all out. There's loads. There you go, screen grab now. Electro and I will, as requested, pass on your greetings and salutations to Thunder Corker and Scoo Wow. Freaking Scoo Wow. That's still my favourite. Because they were so clearly just trying to change a bit so they wouldn't get sued. And they did it in the best way possible. And that is from Brandon Optimus Prime 2471. Oh, the community. I just watched all of community, actually. I liked it a lot. It's really good. Except when it ain't. All right, next one then. This has come from Iceland. No, yeah, that's right. I do recall speaking to somebody from Iceland. He's like, look, I know you winded it down, but can I send you something? I'm like, thanks for asking. Absolutely, yes. And today we discover what it was. All right. English is my second language, so spelling errors will happen. Thanks for being upfront about that. I was going to roast you, but now I might not. Namaste, Bythes. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Manny, but call me Manny. I am a photographer, artist, voice actor, and YouTuber when I have free time. Channel is Manny Comics, because I have many comics. This comic was given to me by my boss. I didn't have the heart to tell him I have it. And the photos were taken the month before I broke my camera. Oh boy. Last remaining photos. First photo is Optimus Prime. I tried to make him cold and sad. Let's have a look. Ooh, there we go. That, that, that is quite moody. Yeah, I see it. I see it. There's a, there's a certain sort of sadness to this, isn't there? I see it. I feel you. Second is six gun. Put six in translate into Icelandic. Looking a bit mucky in the battlefield. A little bit down and dirty. Keep being awesome. You know I can't help it. And we have uh, Transformers IDW9. Is this the new one? Yes, it's got flame war in it. This is the post Lost Light one. I haven't read this. I need to catch up. I'm getting there, but I'm not at number nine yet. So we'll save this for another day. Thank you, bro. Yeah, nice one, Manny. So that is Manny Comics on YouTube. Seems to have a certain sort of uh, artistic vision on the go. I might pop on some Pelican. Get all good and moody. Uh, a couple more things real quick. While we're here, while I've got you. Uh, I did get this cheeky Gundam pack through the other day on the old P.O. box. And uh, I must confess I've already opened it. But I think I'll get a kick out of this. Because it's not even a Gundam. It's actually friggin' knockoff Seacons, if you can believe it. That's their kibble and stickers and such. And we have um, Lemony Citrus Nautilus. Freaking watermelon scale or monster in my pocket tentacle. Why is it always these same few colors? I don't even know where these have come from. And this is proper throwing me off. Check it out. Snap trap. Friggin' kill trumpet is the same size as uh, like Nautilator and them. He's normally like at least this and a half, like 50% bigger, but he's the same size. So I don't think it's going to work, mate. So I just have some multicolored sea creatures. I'm fine with it. So if it was you who sent these in, please do shout up. They are hilarious and I hate them. A lot of Seacon sort of of content on my channel, but I've never actually reviewed them. I might have to do something about that. I've got the G1 uh, reissue, the 2010-ish reissue with the slightly different colors. Freaking God Neptune's been on pre-order for like all year. Might do it, I don't know. I always say I'm gonna do stuff and then I end up doing something different. So I might not do the Seacons. What does that mean? Dunno, what does this mean? And the last thing for today, I'm actually quite excited about this. This is something from uh, Sam's Forge. Sam makes toys. I know what it is. I've had it sitting around for a little while because I kind of don't want to open it. Something about this package feels really comforting. It's like it's the exact size and dimensions and colors as a pack of Warburton's Toasty Bread. But we gotta do it. This is actually really exciting. Uh, I don't begin to know where to cut this. It's just tape and polystyrene. So I don't know where to cut this to minimize the pain for myself and for you. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! A human liver. So this, unless I'm very much mistaken, this, my friends, is an upgrade kit. Oh, <laughs> this is a trailer slash upgrade kit for animated Optimus Prime to turn him into the friggin' power jetpack man. God damn, I don't want to try and figure this out now. The man sent me a PDF. I'm going to open it up and figure it out and properly do my homework on this because it's very exciting and it's 3D printed, so it might not be the most durable. <laughs> 
and God knows I'm not the most careful of humans. So what I'm gonna do, if you'll leave it with me, I'm gonna figure this thing out and uh, I'll show you in a dedicated video. This has got to happen. I know I say that all the time. I know I'm always like, oh, I'll review everything ever, but this, this is happening. Good old animated. Does it need to come back? I feel like its legacy is good enough on its own. The toys are all still there. We still have them. Still though, we live in hope. I want it back as much as anybody, but I'd be fine if it never happened. Thank you, Sam. This is delightfully exciting. Exciting with the GH. Of course it doesn't go back in. Why would it? That's all very exciting. Quick giveaway. Should we do a giveaway real quick? <laughs> so I have a spare Titans Return Bumblebee and a custom Titans Return Cliff Jumper. There he is. This is a road burn, clearly, but with the Cliff Jumper head. And he's got a little gun and he's got a Bumblebee for a friend to keep him company. I think we've had quite enough Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee on the channel. They've both had a huge dedicated video, so I think we can probably move these on. So if anybody would like this cheeky two-pack, please do send an email to thewgiveaways at gmail.com. I want the subject line and the body text to both just say Cliff Jumble. Just that word on its own. Nothing else. Once in the subject, once in the body. Only enter once. I'll pick one at random uh, this time next week. So Monday the 12th. You've got until the 12th midnight GMT on the night of the 12th to send Cliff Jumble to thewgiveaways at gmail.com. Best of luck. And that about brings us up to date, I believe. So thanks for joining me. Sorry about the wait. I know it's not cool. Believe me, it's driving me nuts as well. So I'll be back with you in a couple of days. And until then, stay sexy. <laughs> Uh, we did a video. I've forgotten what it felt like. Just watching, everybody. Thank you for your continued support on Patreon. It's much appreciated. And extra special thanks to JV for supporting the show. Thank you. Later, baby. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal. Keeping it real.